in you And I think to myself What a wonderful world What a wonderful world can hear out of that. So just had a wonderful meeting about consistency and certainty. That's where we need to be getting business right now. And Jojo's really excited because we're now gonna be doing some slow-mo and they're coming out. Charles is gonna be hungry today. I ate at 8.30. It's 11, I think the next time I'm gonna eat is probably around 2.30. I don't think I've actually thrown this out here. You, you've seen the times, but all these vlogs, we shoot this in all in a half a day. So just imagine another half after these vlogs are shot. So we're going down right now. We're gonna be uh, looking at a loft. It's off market. It is 2.95. We're gonna be bringing a buyer on Thursday. We just want to go actually live and just get a little video on it. So let's go down. Just had a stare down with a guy right there. <laughs> that was a double take stare down right there. Girls, don't, I don't think girls go through that, but the guy, the double take stare down. So this is a shout out to uh, Emily, who used to work with us. I apparently say LaGuardia wrong instead of LaGuardia. LaGuardia. That's the Long Island accent coming out right there. Maybe that guy was thinking that I had the double contact with. Maybe that guy was thinking, that guy's famous over there. I recognize him from something. It's that BPI vlogs. The old stomping grounds. Lives right down there on Sullivan. We'll be passing by. I was there for two years. I had one of the sickest rooftops and I think I enjoyed it a little too much. Moved a little further west instead of Greenwich, West Village. Now I love it. Can't see myself anywhere else. Adam and I just discussed getting a little bit more certainty and working by referral because we've been talking about working by referral, but in the morning I call a lot of for sale by owners and people that we might be following up with, potential leads, instead of just hitting our clients with value add. Sure enough, sent out a holiday card, Christmas card, Hanukkah card, whatever card, and uh, just got a referral. Those are results, that's amazing. Obviously 2018 is gonna be our year of working strictly by referral. Let's go check out the place. It's a keyed elevator. It's at 295, it's off market. It needs a complete gut renovation, so you'll see that. It's actually raw space. It was an old clothing manufacturing building. Very old, pre-war, pre-World War I, actually, which is really cool. We're gonna tag you, my mom, Adam, my dad. <laughs> Charles Botenston here. We are live. We have probably one of the nicest locations and loft spaces that you're gonna see. Obviously, this is completely raw and down to the bones. This is a very old school, to say the least, apartment. sell this. Why? Because whoever comes in here and completely personalizes it up to their flavor, that housewarming party is going to be amazing. You're going to get a Johnny Walker Blue. I'm telling you right now. Maybe some cigars too. We just went Facebook Live and we already have 50 views, a couple comments, a couple of likes. This is obviously the power of social media, but it's also the power of anticipation. So this is obviously coming on in the future. Honestly, for us, we're going to be bringing in a buyer on Thursday and it looks like he's serious, he really wants it. He's got the money, he's qualified and he's cash. So, fingers crossed.
we're going down to uh, Brian Cristiano, who's a, the CEO and founder of Bold Worldwide. It's a marketing agency. We're going to be interviewing him for BPI Lifestyle, which is essentially our influencer interviews. So uh, we're going to go check it out. He's also a good guy to know. He's up and coming. He's got some big goals, big lofty goals of uh, building out his agency to $100 million. You can probably retire on that. That's where I started my career, in finance first. I was in finance, they announced layoffs. I hated where I was, and I just literally volunteered, and they're like, all right, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll put, them, put them on that list to lay them off. I was in 09, and then a month later, I got licensed. We're on selfie cam right now. Someone's taking a photo of us. JoJo's famous. I should take a selfie of her taking a picture. <laughs> Enjoy. That was funny. She was taking a photo behind JoJo, and she's like, I'm from Argentina. I was like, oh, welcome. Tourists are so nice. We're, we're nice in New York. I don't know what this stigma is. Brian Cristiano, Bold Worldwide, right now. We're gonna be interviewing him. Very excited, actually, to be uh, talking to him. He started multiple companies. He's done very well, and he's gonna be doing a lot better. So we're gonna be getting him right before the pinnacle, which is coming up. So we're gonna go check it out. Hello. How's it going? Good. I'm the founder and CEO of Bold Worldwide. We're a media and marketing company. We're in that hockey stick growth phase right yeah. now, but we've got we've got big dreams and a lot of action to back it up. I wanted to be a pro skater when I was like 14 or like 13 to 17. That was the goal was to be a pro skater. Yeah. One day I just kind of I think maybe I was like 15. And I was like, you know, I don't think I'm really going to end up being a pro. I also realized I'm like I'm around all these guys that are in the X Games. Why don't I just start filming? And so as I started editing this video and kind of learning, I'm like, I'm gonna sell this skate video. I literally cold called the distribution company. I got it from the, I looked up the name on the back of other like snowboard and skate videos. And was yeah. like, I cold called and I was like, I have your next big skate video. I ended up selling it for 40 grand by the time I was 17. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was my That's first crazy. video I ever made. While I did go to college, I went and uh, went to a film program. Right, and then I enrolled into like the bachelor's program and yeah. I quit the first week of the bachelor's like, program. This is, this is yeah. this, I'm, I'm out. I'm out. It was like my third class of the first week and some teacher, I think a script writing course or something was like, hey, who here has some experience, you know, doing, you know, working in the field? And a yeah. handful of us raised our hands. They asked everybody, I was the last person to go coincidentally. And he literally goes, why the hell are you here? Yeah. And it like just clicked again and I'm like, that's a great, I go, that's a great question. Picked up my books, went down I, and I was like, how do I, how do I quit? And they're like, excuse me? That's and that crazy. and that was the end of it. I don't even think I told my mom until like a week later. <laughs> no, it was the best the best thing I ever did. At that time, I really wanted to be like a cinematographer, or work on like documentaries, movies, and movies all yeah, that kind yeah. of stuff. And like so, then after after college, I just went full force into that. And then next thing I know, I'm shooting stuff, then I'm editing it, and then I'm producing and editing it, and then I'm getting clients. So I'm like doing it all. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, man, I can't do this on my own. I should hire somebody. I'm like, I guess I'm gonna go on the business route, yeah. like here we go, and that yeah. was it. Around 2005 maybe, wow. 2006 or somewhere in that time frame is when I hit rock bottom. And it was wow. like, I'm either gonna totally blow this thing up, fail, and literally was like contemplating bankruptcy. I burned all this cash and all these people, like angry people, like how do, I, I don't even know how to like get, get to zero again. No one had any idea of the hole that I was in. Nothing. No one had wow. any clues. And I'm like, well, I've already got the like yellow notice on the door of like, dude, like you better you get caught go. up yeah. on your rent or yeah. you're gonna get evicted. I was like, well, I put an out on Craigslist like I got to rent my apartment out in the Upper East Side yeah. and this guy shows up this French dude and I'm like hey are you cool with somebody sleeping on the couch and I'm no joke I actually stored like my clothes and all my stuff like in the kitchen cabinets I had nowhere to put it because I couldn't afford storage yeah. I remember getting home one night and I was just dude I'm wiped I'm depressed I'm like I just want to go to bed it was a terrible day I walk in and he's watching a TV sitting on the couch He's like, oh, dude, this is a cool program. And he sat there and watched TV for like two and a half hours. I'm just yeah. sitting there on the couch, like just thinking to myself, I'm like, I want to go to bed. And there's dudes sitting on yeah. the couch. I can't, even go, I can't even go to bed in my own apartment. Wow. How screwed up is this? That was like yeah. where I felt like I hit rock bottom. I was like, I got to do something about this. So, wow. yeah. At that point in time, I was like, I, I felt like I had failed myself. I felt like I had failed everyone that I was like, screw you, I'm going to do this. Like, yeah, I'll make skate videos a career. <laughs> I started with just like, dude, I picked up. Tony Robbins books, Tim Fer like everything I could read just to try to motivate myself. 
It took me 14 months and I went from a quarter million dollars in, in the hole, sleeping on my own couch, to doing my first million dollars in sales and paying off every person I owed money to. Fed off the fear of that I'm either gonna live on the couch forever or even worse, get, I won't even be able to stay on my own couch. And that I was like, I can't let that happen. Biggest takeaway that I've like completely lived my life by from that point in time, I was living in, in action, meaning, I was just sitting on the couch. I wasn't doing anything to take myself off of the couch. I go to the office, I would do the bare minimum to check the boxes for the clients that we did have. I'd ignore the calls of people asking for their money and collections, et cetera. And I did nothing to change the situation. And in 14 months of just busting ass, working 18, 20 hours a day, nonstop, 365, completely turned it around in 14 months. There's not some secret thing that you need to learn to do. While yes, there's learning process you know, as you go and as you grow, but the reality is the biggest difference between living on the couch and being broke and, and building two multi-million dollar successful companies is action and then following through with that action and on the promises. I really appreciate it for hosting us and uh, having us here and obviously wish you the best of luck. Just got done interviewing Brian Cristiano, the CEO and founder of Bold Worldwide. The guy is as genuine, as authentic as anyone could be. We learned a ton of things about him. We talked about his entrepreneurial roller coaster, which if you're an entrepreneur or you know anyone that's an entrepreneur, it's not just a straight hockey stick curve. It goes like this. And he really opened up and I'm really excited about the video and where it goes from there. The question of the day is, what is one thing that you change about the real estate industry? Leave in the comments below. If you have any questions, referrals, feedback, shoot me an email, charles at Have an awesome day. Talk to you guys soon.